Hey guys, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorials, of course presented by WeMakeDanceMusic.com, the largest music production platform on the internet. Did I say the internet again? I shouldn't say that. Guys, on the internet, WeMakeDanceMusic.com. I'm going to say it again just for you to remember, maybe to... WeMakeDanceMusic.com, so we have over 13,000 products from 500 producers, a lot of templates, some sounds if you like, some sound banks, some presets, some midis, some instrumental covers which are very cool for you guys, maybe that are singers that want to perform covers, or even better if you perform live and you want some really good backing track, we have a lot of these. It is unique to us. Anyway guys, let's get started on to this week's episode that's gonna be Deep Groove Techno. You're gonna see that I do episodes that are about some genre that doesn't exist. I get those comments before, but for me, it's not about a genre, it's about a feeling. So I'm trying to put out a feeling, like Berlin techno feeling, like some, some like hypnotic techno feeling, you know, and then of course I will do the minimal techno and other genres like that. But Deep Groove for me, 124 BPM from absolute scratch. And of course, I will make a set of templates for Logic Pro, Ableton, and FL Studio from the result of this episode. So the song that's playing now, that I will put back into the video, video once I prepare it for you guys to be live on YouTube. It is the track that I made. If you like it, check out the template below or beside. I think it's going somewhere now, something like that. And guys, let's get started. Of course, from absolute scratch. <clears throat> I think I will remove this for you guys. Um, absolute scratch, I use only Logic Pro X instrument. I do not really need anything for to make techno or to make anything. It's, it's, it's more about the work you put into it. I know there's a lot of plugins that do all the work for you. Great. I think it's better to have, uh, to, to make. So as in taking a kit that was called, pattern I think it's Pulsar or Radiant. That like, they had like a nice deep techno kick. So we're gonna know very quickly because we're gonna listen to it. Oh, it's still in here. Sounds like a decent kick to me. Let's try Pulsar. Oof. That is more like a bass OC kind of. I'll go with this. We can always do something. Hats, bongo. Mm, that look like it's it could be anything really, but the percussions are good, so. So, I know that a lot of people use a lot of samples and stuff. I mean, it's a little bit the same using using a drum machine like this, Drum Machine Designer in Logic, and it's triggering samples. So, of course, the sample is here. We're triggering it. I'm going to do this. going to make a loop out of it. So, you can see the, the sample is here. It's getting triggered. If I wanted to, I could go and edit it, you know, and, and, and work on it. Quite simply, actually, I'm going to drop that here. Now the key has changed a little bit, so I'm gonna go lower. The root key is here. I think it will go just a bit lower. We got G. How about F? How about E? That's just chunky. Oh, I didn't change all of them, so here. It's got a nice thump to it. I mean, it's not the most extraordinary kick that I heard. But like I said, if we go onto the Q sampler here, every single individual channel I have this, so if, maybe if I wanted to filter it to drop the top, or maybe I had some drive to thicken it a little bit. Oh, I like this. A little bit less volume. Could add some polyphony, which won't really do that much, unless I would trigger four keys at once, which might not really Mono is definitely better for a kick if you want to really course it really low. Or we could just tweak it just a little bit. Personally, I'm very happy with what it sounds like now. I'm not gonna touch it too much. I'm gonna go straight into creating some drums, so I'm not gonna waste too much time. Then hi hat here, take the hi hat. Move it a little bit up like this. This does sound like a techno kit. Just the right amount of groove. A snare. Quite quickly, you're gonna see it's it's my. I'm used to doing this. I started this 264 episode, guys. So 
Yeah, this is definitely a techno kit, I would say. Don't need to buy it, it's in Logic. And I can already tell that this is gonna be, you know, because it's deep groove, the deep groove usually comes from some good percussions, you know, some deep, deeper perks. And there's a low. So it was getting masked by the kick. As much as I like this, I think the sound is a bit, is a bit lame, not lame, but mellow. I would say, or not. I want something, something bigger. Hmm, could be interesting. Checking. I think I'll leave it at that for now. I'll just do another channel. If I do this, I will keep it in key. what they call perks, which is interesting. Conga riff. Ooh. Mm, I like that. Because this with the bass kind of writing together, I think we can do something with that. Could definitely work. This sounds good, maybe higher. Okay. So I'm gonna do some kind of a roll to put behind the original hats here. Not at the same time. Maybe at the same time. Again, I like the idea, but not so much the sound. More something like this. Oh yeah. A bit more to the left. This is a bit loud here. Now a bass. Ah, really simple. I think a single key. I mean, not no, no bass note because we want for the groove. We want for something that's more stable. It's gonna be pushing the track forward. And the goal is not to impress people with some keys and some playing. It's just to be really hypnotic and groovy. So I'm gonna go into bass. Simple. Yeah. Just take one. As you see, I don't use a keyboard. I'm gonna get one, guys. My birthday is coming. In two weeks, I have to get one, or maybe some other items for the studio, but uh, yeah, it's coming eventually. Get some serious chunk. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go higher.
think I'm gonna try to just drop a groove and then move with it. So first drop a groove. Then work on it and then eventually with a side chain. Connect it to my instrument, drop the kick from Radian. Really fast attack, really fast release. Not too much compression, just a little bit. Hmm. Actually, I like it better without. It's rare, but sometimes I don't use, I don't side chain the bass. I think it's gonna be one of those case today. About what I had in mind, deep groove. And then I'm gonna pick the pattern that I use for the bass. The big sum of the keys. So I would say this and this. Oh, not what I wanted to do, guys. I don't want it to, I want it to do it on a different channel. I'm gonna go into alchemy here. I'm gonna go probably into brass. Bring this a little bit higher. Oh, it's kind of cool with this little t twisted. So I kind of like this, but. that guys I'm still gonna put another layer on top of this definitely because I love this sound so far like it's gonna be a good one I don't know who makes this type of music, guys. Can you type below? Charlotte the Wheat. I don't, I don't know the people. I don't I didn't listen to people music so much because I'm busy kind of doing my own for you guys. So just say what it sounds like to you in the comment below. That, that would be nice with a delay. I'm going to create a bus and a delay. Not such a big delay, I would say. Uh, delay, sorry, a reverb. So I'm gonna use chroma. Put some really nice rooms in there. Just to give the feel. I think it would be nice 
in the background of this is like a pad, like a big evolving pad. If you know my process, guys, you know that I like to build, 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 build as much as possible and then go uh, and reduce it to the simplest expression. So what I'm doing, I'm building, 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 putting ideas, 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 and then I subtract, as I subtract or like I reduce, like uh, <laughs> some people call Rick Rubin, not a producer, but a reducer. I like this idea of putting everything in there and then removing and just leaving, just, just what's right, so. That's my idea, at least. It's a bit high. I don't know if you guys see, but I keep always the key. Everything's in tune. Everything's in E now, so... I'm just looking for some kind of pad that I can drop in the background that will work with, with this. I think if I have a really long evolving pad that would last longer, it would be nice to include this like that. And to do this. This is quite, quite simple, I would say. I think I'll go lower. I feel I will have more richness. It's a bit like kind of a didgeridoo kind of song, just well in the back. Enrich the track definitely. I'm gonna extend this. So if I feel like dropping a lead in there, I'll have a bit more room. I can try to create a good sequence with that. I have the feel I was looking for, definitely. This is cool, I think there's a bit too much top to it. So, this. Sound great, the bass is there, there's definitely a groove in there. I think I would drop like a sub kick in there, something to really chunk it out. Not this one, definitely. Oh yeah, let's hear it. Like this. Let's try to mix it a little bit. So now, I'm gonna continue with the idea of a simple element and mixing mixing ideas. I will do a counter here. So I'm gonna put it here and just take one. So the first sound I'm gonna put in there is, is to, to 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 counter melody the first one. So I'm gonna definitely choose something different. So I would like something a little bit more edgy like maybe a pluck like a guitar or something like that.
right, but we will find something. Mm. So listening to that right away, I think one would be enough every... in the groove where we at 22 minutes guys wow 20 minutes to make something like that this is a good one i don't know if you can hear what i can hear but i know i know the potential that something like that has already after 20 minutes you know it's 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 strong it's very very strong like i said in previous episodes guys it's been a month and a half i took a month and a half off yes i still released the episode but i was away under the sun somewhere now i'm back home in the studio and I'm gonna make a whole lot of episodes, so get ready. So I'm gonna do a counter counter. So that I'm thinking would be cool, would be vocals, like some kind of, kind of a plucky kind of, maybe a bit longer actually for them. I'm gonna go down. As you see guys, I'm browsing a little bit the tracks to try to find... What was this? What? So they say vocals because it's, it's voice inspired, I guess. Give like a kind of a feel, like a human feel to it. Definitely this one here, perfect. So this is a reverb here, which is not so big, I would say. It's good for that, I would say. I would say, would say. So now, of course, this wouldn't be an episode of Your Live Electronic Music Tutorials without me composing some kind of a lead on top of that. Could be simple, might be only in the breakdown. I think for something like that, you have the chug, you have big moments and stuff, and once it drop really, you can bring like some, some kind of lead. Uh, I don't know what it would be really, but uh, let's see. I have maybe some ideas for some. Hmm. I'm gonna go definitely up in the registry a little bit here. I'm gonna play some keys. Whoa. Not what I expected. I'm gonna create another bus here. I'm gonna get myself another reverb, like a bigger room reverb gonna be reverb, silver verb, stereo, a big grandiose, and I'm gonna send it to that so it's we have a nice wet signal.
bit here. I think this is good. This stake here is what we need to be added to this track to make it pretty much a full track already. I mean, this is definitely some arrangement. And it's intentionally a little bit off here, which I think will work. I'm gonna leave it full. And then of course I'm gonna tweak it. Twisted. I'm tempted to try it an octave lower just to see how it will sound. Oh, the LFO is going to be really different, so no. So like I said, that would be good, I think, in the breakdown. Something, ah, I just seen something. Yeah, okay, I wasn't selecting the whole loop, so. Well, it was a bit weird when it was looping back. So you see guys, 7 MIDI track, 7 cents track, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh actually I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna separate them. Color region by track, name region by track, so now we have an idea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 MIDI, 7 MIDI drums and 7 cents and that's it, I have the basis to a track which I will turn into a template, of course. Hey, templates, I mean multiple templates for Logic Ableton FL Studio. And guys, this is gonna be it for this episode of Your Life Electronic Music Tutorials. Give us a second, smash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, come back again, and until next time, may the sounds be with you.